and take two because um, I reinstalled. Well, I, I installed an update for my camera software that I used to record these, and um, it changed the sound. So I just recorded a five-minute video for today, and there was no sound. So we're gonna have to record it again. <coughs> All right. Today, I'm mostly just going to share with you some interesting items from here in Japan. Um, first off. Went to the post office today and um, mailed some stuff, took some care of some stuff. But after I mailed my package, I got a free gift because apparently at the post office you get free gifts. And this was the first one. It's um, eco towel paper. That's right, eco towel paper. However, up here it says tree free. So it's, I don't know, I recycled maybe? Um, but yeah, like little paper towels, uh, weird. And then I got this. Now, when I got this, it was wrapped in plastic, so I didn't open it until I got back to work. It looks kind of like a matchbook, right? And I was like, what's, what's in this? You know, what could they possibly give me? Q-tips and band-aids in what looks like a matchbook, because, you know, everyone needs these from the post office. I have no idea. <laughs> but yes, my free gifts from the post office today. Fun. Um, what else did I get? Ah, yes. The other day, Brian and I were at the dollar store, and we found an interesting brand of chocolate. <laughs> um, I'm assuming it's probably pronounced Orly, but um, yes, O'Reilly chocolate. Uh, the sad thing is, this tasted horrible. Um, I ate about two bites and threw the rest of what I'd broken off to eat away. I've still got chocolate left. I haven't actually thrown it all away yet, but yeah, bad. Um, but yes, Orly Chocolate. So Brian says we should start up a um, competitor company called Y'all Really, but you know. Um, the next, gum. Why does everything have to do with food today? Well, I guess the paper towels did, but yes, gum. So this is a gum I like. It's a green apple flavor, very tasty. Um, you buy it and pop it open and gum. Um, better to buy it this way because you get more for a lot less. So I bought my gum, and I was like, yay, gum, and I went back to the office and popped it open and found post-it notes in my gum. <laughs> These are little tiny post-it notes. They're green, like the gum. Um, and yes, there's a little special container where the post-it notes go in the gum. <clears throat> and at first I was like, what? And then I realized so that when you decide to be rude and spit your gum out on the street, you can tear off a little post-it note, spit it in the post-it note, crumple that up and throw it on the street so nobody gets gum on their shoe, which really isn't that bad of an idea considering that, um, you know, public trash cans don't exist in this country. I guess maybe you're actually supposed to put it like in your pocket or in your purse. But yeah, gum comes with post-it notes, which is weird, but cool because I actually needed post-it notes. So yeah. Um, <clears throat> and then finally today, I have... New Fanta! New Fanta! This is the Strawberries and Cream Fanta, so we can check this off my list. Um, it's strawberries and cream. Delicious, right? Well, I've already tried it once, because as I said, I already made the video, but there was no sound. So I have to get to watch, you get to watch me drink this again. <sighs> Doesn't taste right. It's not really bad, but it confuses my taste buds because my taste buds are like, this should not be a liquid. This should not be a bubbly liquid. It's, with a lot of these drinks, like at first you just get the sensation of carbonated water. And then you get the actual taste. And it does taste like strawberries and cream. But just, it's not right. <laughs> it's not so good. Yeah, just weird, and it leaves an aftertaste in your mouth. I'm not real fond of this one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pour the rest of this one out, but yes. Ooh, strawberries and cream Fanta. Um, so yeah, not so good. Banana was much better. And was the party mix. I actually drank that the other day. So anyway, um, the only other thing, I have a couple stories from work, I guess. Today I taught two classes with the fly to my pants undone. Go me.
Um, nobody said anything or nobody noticed. It could be no one noticed because I have my jacket on and my jacket's long enough that it covers that bit. So maybe no one noticed. And um, that's what I'm hoping at least. So uh, yeah. luckily, you know, I was wearing underwear, so it's not that big of a deal, but still embarrassing. Um, I'm going to Australia. I'm going to Australia. I'm really happy. I'm going to go learn to scoop dive. And um, so that's kind of what's keeping me going right now because uh, lately, things not so fun. It's cold. It's really cold. And so it's cold. And so on the weekends, I don't want to do anything. I'm just like, mm, warm blankets. I don't want to get up. But I'm making myself go do stuff. And I'm saving money so that I can go to Australia. And uh, other than that, not so much. I hope everyone's doing well. And I will talk to you later.